In this video, I'll show you how to build a lens distortion target and how to then use Lightroom or Photoshop to measure the distortion in your lenses. Print the target in 20 by 30 inch size using a printing service such as Costco here in the US. Next you'll need some spray adhesive like this one. You will need something rigid and very flat to later hold the target. For this purpose, I bought thick half an inch foam board as it is lightweight and relatively inexpensive. I'll have links in my website for all these items. Photos of this size normally come in a roll from the photo center. In order to flatten the surface, lay the foam board and possibly some weights over the print and let it sit for a few hours. This should reduce curling significantly and it will make it much easier to glue to the foam board. Before using the spray adhesive, prepare the work surface by protecting it with paper or plastic bags. Make sure to shake the can well before using. Spray the foam board thoroughly, trying to distribute the glue as evenly as possible. Cover the foam board with the target print, making sure that the two are very well aligned with each other. To use the target, I recommend that you mount it on an easel as shown here. Use a level to ensure the target is aligned vertically. Finally, position your camera to fill the frame and take some test shots. Now that we have the images captured, we can open them in Camera Raw and try to get a practical measure of how much distortion was there. So in Camera Raw, we start by going to the Lens Correction tab, which is this little item over here. And in here make sure that the grid is actually enabled because that will help us align uh, the grid with the image itself. We need to compensate a bit for a slight rotation in the image, so this should be about right. And now that we have the image uh, rotated perfectly, we're going to increase the distortion compensation until the image looks actually rectilinear. So, a value of about 4 in this case should do it. And there you have it. So in this case the image had barrel distortion and you could say that the value of that distortion was plus 4. With Adobe Lightroom the procedure is actually very similar. You start by scrolling down to the lens correction section and you first uh, compensate for the rotation using this slider over here. Notice that the uh, grid shows up automatically, which is a nice feature. Distortion then can be compensated with this slider over here. We're going to actually type the number here because we already know it should be about 4. And there you have it. So now you measure the distortion to be about 4 using Adobe Lightroom. Mm -hmm. 